Hello everyone, my name is Lanceo90 and welcome back to my new tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Let's go take a look at this other town. Small one at least. Uh, make sure safe mode's on. Want to keep a wide berth from this uh, shopping mall, though. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of zombies in there. Ooh, another crash site. What do you have for me, crash site? Ooh, combat boots that fit. He's done it. So take a look at this comparison, huh? Zero and B. They fit us. They're 15. Actually, the armor protections are lower across the board. But it is made out of Kevlar instead of leather, and I think that actually makes a huge difference that you wouldn't... That it doesn't really tell you here, but it does. Yeah, they say they'll protect you from a lot of abuse compared to the steel toe boots, saying they will not. So. Drop the boots in there, and then grab these and put them on. There we go. A pistol bayonet. Guess we'll grab that. Let's use Shift V to see what else we got here. Military composite plate. Ooh. That's for vehicles, though. A steel drum of two thousand or two hundred liters. These can be really awesome because you can fill this with water. Kevlar plate MBR vest. I wonder how that compares to the one we got. The steel drum is gigantic though, so it's a little bit difficult to grab. So we'll grab the hat. We will. I wonder if that's close enough for me to compare now. I gotta step to it. Compare MBR vest with MBR vest. I don't recall which one's better. Kevlar's lighter. For not much of a difference in protection. So we will drop the chromatic plate one and put on the Kevlar plate one. Because this is an instance where I kind of prefer the um, Kind of prefer being a little bit light. Steel drum. Steel drum is the interesting thing. Now it's gigantic. I don't know if there's a way to like actually. Yeah, it has a volume of 200 liters. So you can't even put this in the cart because the cart can only carry 50 liters. So the really only thing you can do here is you can wield it in your hands and carry it home. Which is a little bit difficult, so we're not going to do that right now. We'll do it later. And use it as a water supply. And in fact, that gives us extra incentives to move down here. Because it means we can make a huge container full of water. Because this is really close to the water supply. I think that's just a broken off piece of... It's a saddle. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? What's in this town? Boomer Bile here. Zombie dog. I think this dog is actually coming at us right now. Oh, no, he's not. I'll try to kite them. I'm trying to watch that mini map. Come on. Man, there's a lot of things down there. Oh, because we're near the mall as well. I kind of forgot about that. Is there ants nearby? It's a bobcat. That's what that uh, weird looking cat is there. I don't know why it's... Is it going to bite me? It says it's fleeing. Yeah, there's no animals up here. Not None of the ants, I should say. So we're just going to have to try to... Try to kite them. Tackle them one at a time if we can. We got the boomer, I think. The 
Boomer will try to spit at you. I think he has to get pretty close, though. Boom. He puked on us, so now we can't see. There he is, though. He did. Uh, I think he might have killed the bush, though. Yeah, he killed the bush, actually, so let's step away. And if you wait a little bit, the, uh, the goo will go away. There we go. Sucks they killed the plant. Alright, I think that zombie cop might be coming for us, yeah. A zombie cock's gonna be a little bit tougher of a kill than a normal zombie. So we're gonna keep him on a bush. We smashed him up good. Oh hell yes, first aid kits. We were really hoping for something like that. I'll grab those steel toed boots too. Oh, here comes a zombie dog. To run for a minute. I want to get him on a bush if I can. Okay, let's stop running. He did. Grab my cart. Closer. And keep on trucking on here. Right, he's dead. He had some bird shot on him. I'll take that. Shit, the shopping mall is right there, huh? It's a lot of feral hunters down there. Feral runners. Those things are real fast. It sucks that this place has so many zombies. We'll try to just handle the peripherals first, and then we'll worry about the bigger supplies of them. Oh man, that's another... Another one of these boys. A bloated zombie. Not exactly fun to deal with. Let's try to... The zombie kid here. Easy to kill, but they'll give your character some guilt for killing them. Oh man, they're... They synced up, which really sucks. In fact, the bloated one came first, which means he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna do that. Get out of that smoke, it'll choke you. I don't think that hurts the other zombies. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to them. You can see it nerfed our stats, though. Getting st what the hell? It's also hard to hit the kids. Quit. Peanut butter candy. Ugh, why does the kid have thigh high boots on? I don't like that. no more. Actually, you know what? This kid had candy on him. I don't know where the food is. Here they are. It doesn't do much for our nutrition or anything, but it does make us happier. So may as well pop it if we can. What are you? Shady zombie. I hate these things. They're not tough, but they're um, they're usually in a big group. And at nighttime, if they're if they're there, you can't see them until they're they're close to you. All right, so come on, shady zombie. Oh fuck, it's another fucking boomer. They must have a small aggro distance too. He's not coming after me. Should carry something to shoot at these bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep trying to terrorist attack me. 
I'll take that disinfectant. Disinfectant's great because it can cure uh, infections. Come on. God damn, why is there so many of these things now? Alright, we need to find something to throw at him. Hopefully they don't have much HP and... I, I pressed G. I don't know why I didn't pick up that rock. Press... Uh, huh? I thought it was T. Oh, you have to select it. Okay. Press T, you can select something to throw. Let's let him get a little closer. Why is it not skipping time? Does it not do that for throws? Maybe it only does that for aiming. No. Maybe I can learn through this. Let's run. This is a new wreckage, actually. This isn't the one from before. Maybe the wreckage will pop them. It did. Okay. So maybe you get new good stuff here. There's a military black box. I think you can get some story information from that. It's plating. Cowboy hat. Minefield warning. Danger minefield. They have to make use of this minefield to kill these, uh, that horde of zombies. What do got here? An M3 recoilless rifle. It's a launcher. Not what I'm hoping for, but... Unless there's ammo for it. A military rucksack is like a very big backpack. Batteries, eh. The bigger backpack isn't necessarily worth it because it's a, it's like super encumbered. Because the regular backpack already encumbers you pretty bad. The the huge backpack is like otherworldly. Shopping cart collides. All right, shady zombie, come here. God damn it! It's another one of those guys. Why are these things so fast? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Shit. I left I left to run on. Alright, he's gonna blow up on us. Ouch. Badly poisoned. Ooh. These guys aren't used to in the game, so I'm not really used to dealing with them. Cover some oxygen here. JD zombie, come on. Guess I'll just straight up fight him instead of trying to lure him. They must have like very small aggro range. And just at night, because they don't they don't show up at night, they just you just run into them, I suppose, is what's going on there. Recoilless rifle, I wish that had some ammo in it. Alright, so what do we got? We got this house here. Okay, this is it's a normal a normal decayed zombie. No big deal. Boots, heavy sticks can be useful, I'll take it. Useful for crafting. Cart. More first aid kits, hell yes. More disinfectant, holy fuck. It's been forever since I've had disinfectant and first aid kits. You guys don't know how many games I've been through trying to get this tutorial series to work out for me. Where I've just had, like, unbelievably bad luck, and I've just had to cancel the series. I had to restart, like, three or four times. The booze will get us sick because we have the one thing. Plastic bag of fried seeds. But pants, don't mind if I do. Extinguisher, glove liners. Birdhouse Monthly is a good book. I think it's like construction. Old Poncho is the outer layer. Okay. I think that used to be pretty good, but I don't think it's as critical as it used to be. 
Let's pry this door open. It's just outside. I'll close the windows to this house if we might want to come back to it. up now. Alright, so I dump the stuff in the thing. We are hungry and thirsty, so we should take eat some of that stuff. What's all that? Just a bunch of rats? A bunch of dogs? Okay. Yeah, this area around... around them all kind of sucks. That's a tough zombie. Yeah, tough zombies are a little bit of a pain. What's that? Barrel runner. Use the terrain to our advantage. Ouch. More than one zombie attacking you at the same time is real bad, by the way, but it's better to fight them while they're stuck than it is to fight them somewhere else. Nothing. Thigh high boots. How's our armor and everything doing? Because arm guards are damaged. Our long sleeve shirt's been hit, but the reinforcement held out. Our backpack's been damaged. Okay. What else we got? More feral runners and a black rat. They should be fighting each other, actually. Black rats aren't very tough though, so that was a pretty easy to pre oop, easy to predict outcome, I think. Oh shit! Let go of the cart, please. The cart gets stuck on stuff, and it can be a pain in the butt when you're trying to run away from something. Um, I'll take the raincoat. We we'll need to wash that and repair it, but we could use. Well, uh, actually, our character can deal with the rain now. Unlike my usual characters, usually you have to grab a raincoat. It looks like the feral runner is fighting the dogs down here. I'll let them do that. What we got? Lots of regular zombies. See, I might like be able to leave them in peace. Actually, I think they're going out to fight the dogs now. Uh, look at it. Just kind of just watch. And, uh... Let them fight. Watch this uh, window down here, actually, a little more than anything else. Oh yeah, see the dogs and alarm up here. Shit, there's a cop zombie in the front, too. Okay, let's grab our cart. And head up this way. The zombies should start chasing me here in a moment. What we want to do... Let's get the cart out of the way as well. What we're going to do is let them aggro us. What we're going to do... Get them condensed. We want 
them to try to force their way through this car. So the car gets them stuck and it funnels them into the single spot where the door is. Cop zombies trying to flank though, which will suck. Hopefully he won't make it to us before we... Okay, he's on us now. I think he's stuck on the... the mirror though. Again, in normal circumstances you don't want to try to engage a horde, but we did have opportunities here to thin them out. Okay, I think some got stuck. Oh shit, there's more. I don't really have a way to get them stuck. I guess I can go the other way around, maybe. <laughs> They're all up in here. Everything. Yes, stop attacking to fight the dog. That's a bastard. Free off, dog. I'm trying to smash some bodies right now. Take the empty flashlight. I will take the western boots. I will take the cash card. Flashlight, sleeveless tunic, Frick off dogs, I don't want to kill the dogs, I just want to kill zombies. I warned ye. Let's take out this fly too. Actually, I don't know how they, eh, he's severely injured, he should be fine. He's running away, actually. Okay. So I took out a bunch of zombies. Let's eat some more pineapple. Dog and fire are gonna fight. Oh yeah, there's some bodies to smash down here, too. And so we're back rat. Just kind of went on a rampage down here. I don't know where they went. What are we? Oh, the glare is lowering our perception, and the pain is lowering our intelligence. Out over here. Two more zombies. They're still the ones that are near the building, but. Probably use this vehicle as another lure. I don't really need it for a single zombie, but. trying to clear this area out so that we can move into the town. At least most of them. I don't need to clear out the entire mall, but the ones that are outside at least I'd like to get rid of. It's not aggroing me. It's 
about to be nighttime though. So I don't think we'll move into this town quite yet. Let's see, I kinda wanna deal with these other ones that are kinda ran off though. What's this? Is this the feral hunter? It was. The dog got it somehow. I was expecting the zombies to win that fight. Uh, I would like to get them stuck on something. I have a way to though. What's this? Dog. Maybe he didn't fare so well in the end. Let's turn safe mode on and run back home. Oh man, it got dark. Sharply there. I think it got cloudy out. I think it was a clear sky for a moment with a full moon. And it turned into rain. Alright, here we are. Sorry, buddy, no inhaler for you. See what I have in my inventory. See, put the first aid kits away. I'll carry one of the disinfectants. Drop all these cash cards. Now let's unload the cart. And we got a bunch of clothing. Heavy duty flashlight. For self. Their pants can get scrapped. Flashlights can get scrapped. Helmet can get scrapped. Stick. Alright, there we go. Seems up so nothing attacks us. We're thirsty. Milk is still okay somehow. Okay, when, th when these pop-ups say you're gonna force yourself to eat, that means your character will puke if you eat. So don't do it. <laughs> That's something that has a smaller value of drink, like this root beer. Pop that instead. Alright. What should we tackle now? Because it's dark outside. Suppose we could read some books. Stay next to the computer screen so we have light. And then we can just read all these books once just to see what they are. It'll explain over here like what skill it'll uh, level up. How much intelligence you have to have to read it. Um, if it'll improve your morale and how long it'll take to read. And uh, it'll also show you like what recipes you can learn from it. Just read through all of it. Let's do like mechanics level one. That'd be pretty useful for us. So let's read until we gain a level. No longer learn from it. Oh yeah, and it puts it in your inventory automatically if you uh, if you do the Shift R option to read. We are tired, so let's just go to bed. Actually, let's try to pop the milk because it'll probably be rotten by the morning time. Sleep. Wake up. Alright. The stomach is old. The other stuff is not yet. Surprisingly enough. Let's see, uh, I don't want to eat the fast noodles like they are. Let's 
be an apple. There we go. Now we're filled off. Our character is nice and happy. So we're doing well. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.